Emperor has been expecting you. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and you're watching The Hope Show. And I'm informed that there is an echo, echo, echo. So I'm going to bring in Ian. Ian. Okay, live chat. Folks, do you want to uh, inform me if there's an echo? You told me to yeah, there's, chat. there's definitely an echo. It's bad. Is it bad? It's, who's it coming from? Can you hear it? I can't hear a thing. Okay, we'll let everyone else in and we'll see if we work oh. this out. Okay, so we have Dan and Carbonate. Thanks very much for being here. We got Jose Plus. We have Phil, aka The Empire Strikes. So we should have everyone. And yeah, is there an echo? Clinton Martin says there's no echo. Jose, can you hear it? Um, uh, Phil, sound okay? I Dan? could when Ian came in, but I can't hear it now. Oh, oh so it's an echo Come that in. Ian Ian is causing. <laughs> I wonder, Ian, are you listening? Do you have the stream in the background? Maybe is that possible? Because sometimes, like we have it, I use I open this. I have the live stream paying in another tab so that I can add polls. So, but I have to mute it. But um, yeah, come back, go back out and come back in, Ian, and we'll let you in. And uh, that hopefully. that is exactly it. Since you put me in as another host on your show. So All right. I have so, sorted that. So Okay, brilliant. Super. Right. Thank so, you. Thank you. No, thank you. I appreciate you letting me know. Right. Folks, thank you. Very, very welcome to the Hope Show. If I can just uh, remind my guests to have themselves muted unless someone is talking just to avoid echoes and stuff like that. I do appreciate Ian uh, letting me know about that. We're going to get right into this, folks. Um, I suppose we're going to get Jose to choose. We're just going to straight in. We'll address the chat at a later stage, but Jose, what's it going to be? <laughs> um, I'm kind of curious about that N-O. Okay, we can start there. That is no problem. So this is a new, I, I'm thinking about doing a, a series, I, sh I shouldn't ever say I'm thinking about doing a series of videos because the next thing someone else will do it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a series of videos called 2.0 or 2.0. And I'm kind of using this as a trial. So the question is quite simple. You probably predicted this is obviously the Hot Toys DX13. It's, I suppose, uh, arguably one of their greatest figures, people could say that. Um, I think people are dying. Some people are dying for a 2.0. So the question to the panel, to the question to the chat is, should, they give, should Hot Toys give us a 2.0, um, an improved version of the DX13? I'll go last. Jose, you picked it. What do you think? Should they give us one? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think yeah. it's time. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I don't to, think it's, to, there's a question. To provide context, do you have a DX13? I don't. I, I have the present toys one, which is okay, but uh, mm -hmm. I've been trying to mod it. I got a DX10 head sculpt, so that's kind of what I've been doing in the meantime until we get a reissue. Mm -hmm. So you're all in favor of a... Uh, obviously, like if you don't have the DX13, most people will say yes, okay? And then if you have it, some people will say no. I personally have the DX13. I'll give my thoughts on the end. Uh, what do you think, uh, Phil? Should it give us a DX13? Yeah, a definitely. For any... Not a reissue, a uh, 2.0, sorry. 2.0, <clears throat> definitely. Um, are they... Is it fully plastic, the DX13, or are they die-cast with the... Pleather, yeah. Out of interest. Pleather, yeah. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's not it, no actually sorry it's more of a plasticky material you're right I don't think it's quite pleather it's more of a plasticky material yeah it's not yeah I def it it deserves a two point I think definitely for people who've missed out on anybody who wants to upgrade because it's, it's quite an old figure now isn't it yeah it's true it's true I just want to ask like could like I'm gonna go back to Jose I didn't really ask him like why besides the fact that he wants one why should can, can you give me one thing that they should do to this that warrants it uh, to update it to two point yeah, I mean, there's several reasons. Obviously, uh, the paint apps would be an improvement, right? So the likeness would be better. We we would have, uh, hopefully, they could. I mean, we're seeing this. It's a rare thing, but the opportunity for genuine leather uh, on the item 
would be something that would be a reason to go ahead and 2.0 it maybe die cast if they if they did uh terminator stuff maybe die cast material stuff uh so if it was like maybe a battle damaged uh option right maybe if they did a deluxe where you had both of them they're doing that a lot right uh clean and battle damaged uh, so die cast pieces so there's a lot of ways that they could improve on and it's also a figure i think from my understanding didn't release around 2015 2016 around that time the the new armored batman was came out of what in 2017 so that one is a l newer product and they've already 2.0 it so i think the terminator is not only a a money maker for them that a lot of people want it's definitely in need of of, of a 2.0 yeah give me a reason uh phil give me one good reason like what would you like to see improved on the dx13 definitely leather if, if it's not already leather i mean leather is synonymous with that character isn't it he's head to toe in leather um but yeah if they were going to make an improvement and the likeness don't get me wrong the likeness is pretty good but I definitely think they should have full leather not that i'm into leather or anything but i <laughs> know uh, it's kind of Ian's not going to let you wear that. Ian, what do you think, apart from that uh, Phil has a leather <laughs> fetish? Wool, he's no, probably he going to say. He does. He <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah. does. Yeah. But, yeah. What do you um, think, Ian? <clears throat> I'm struggling to answer this one, to be honest, because I've got my head around something on 2.0s at the moment. Um, so I don't like answering this on the DX13 isolated so if i was just to focus on this figure shane if this is the question then i'm thinking i'm not against 2.0s at all um if they were to improve on it then usb led leather <clears throat> you know the way you think, Jesus, with the recent Batman, would they put some die-cast parts in there? You could do whole sorts, but I've got a different take on 2.0s at the moment. So, okay. But I know this is a question just in this figure. Now, I believe um, I, I have the DX13. Dan recently picked one up. Um, Ian, do you have the DX13? I don't. I don't have the DX13. Um, and it's one of the ones I did consider backtracking, um, but I didn't want to take the risk with the player issues with an older figure and getting it from Asia where there's a humidity issue. So okay. Okay. that's that's my issue. Yeah. But it's yeah. it's a great right. Can I say something though? I, I don't believe in always chasing the best version or a 2.0 or a 3.0. You don't believe in chasing the best version? Uh, come here, what 1989 Batman video you getting? Oh yeah, I mean it's Jazz Inc. <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing. Oh, they like that one. <laughs> no, but if, if there was five years down the line that a company done something else that Yoast missed... No, I'm keeping it. Yeah, I've got okay. a lot of Star Wars grails. I've got all the Star Wars grails, all of them. I will not replace them mm -hmm. yeah. because I'm not. I'm not chasing. I don't need that dopamine hit off. And mm -hmm. anyway, I'll, that's too much of a 2.0 mm -hmm. thing for me. Yeah, it's okay, fair enough. And um, just out of curiosity, Ian, if they did do the DX13, what's the number one thing you'd like to see them improve? Um, if it's Hot Toys, then it would have to be leather. Um, it would have to be leather. That would be the, the, the main thing. Everything else is secondary. But yeah. I, I, I still think even a little bit wearing on the pleather looks pretty good, I've seen. I've, and I've got a couple of friends in Scotland that have got it, and it looks quite cool. <laughs> so Yeah, good stuff. And um, uh, Dan, you recently picked up this, uh, so I'm curious to know your thoughts. Like, uh, if they come out with a 2.0 tomorrow, would you welcome it, or would you be like, "Oh man"? Oh no, I'd welcome it. I think I'm, I'm, I'm probably a bit different to Ian. Actually, I, 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 I'm one of those that would just always upgrade to what I've got, like the Han Solo, 
which is coming out. I'll upgrade it. You know, I know obviously it's not a new hope to Jedi, but um, yeah, I picked up. Well, we talked about this last time. I picked up the DX13. It was loose mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. with just this head sculpt, not the. This is no, no, no. With the other head sculpt, you know, the not the battle, not fully battle damaged. Mm -hmm. um, without the arm and the, you know, the battle damaged arm and everything. So it's yeah. just like, you know, just the sort of. Uh, full, full leather, or well, not leather, full, full sort mm -hmm. of um, sleeve. Um, but I've had the whole, you know, me selling stuff. I've had it before anyway. I had it when it came out. Um, I picked it up for a good deal, loose. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm up for two point zeros if, if they're, if they're worthy of it. And I think this is. Yeah. I think, um, as everyone said, I definitely, definitely needs to be leather. My the pleather on the figure I just picked up is pretty good. Um, my, um, one of the, uh, you know, the, the pegs broke because it was so old. So obviously I was trying to get it out. So I was actually handling the, the jacket quite a lot and it's all fine. You know, sometimes I've spoke to people that have handled the jacket and it's just like disintegrated in their hands. So mm. that was fine. Um, I'm pretty lucky with that at the moment, but you know, I'm, I'm under no illusion that that will may go in a, you know in a certain amount of time so yeah i'm i'm up for I, I i think it needs a new head sculpt um i think we're much further on now to getting even a better sculpt from what we've got there which is pretty which is which is good um ledi <coughs> um uh die cast and i think but everyone said obviously it's got to be leather i think more than yeah. anything yeah um I, but i think yeah. i think the original dx13 came with a lot and it did I mean, perhaps two bodies, so you could have two, you know, like the, the Luke Skywalker DX07, so you could like actually pose them both, you know, one really heavy battle damaged and one not. Yeah, um, I'd like I'd like Inert to tackle this. Uh, well, look, I'll take a 2.0 oh, as well. Um, yeah. It'd be great if they had like a full die cast endoskeleton and then have Arnie with a regular or battle damage swap out parts. In terms of hot toys, I do have the DX13. I did work backwards. I got it for $400 shipped. It's going for a lot more on eBay. Uh, it was sealed. Thankfully, I had no flaking issues with the actual, any of the two jackets or the pants, because I don't think it's quite pleather. I think it's more of a plastic. It's a strange material. But the uh, the belt was pleather and that disintegrated. I've been told they could disintegrate. So I had a custom um, or real leather belt ordered um, online before I got it. I think the reason this is a quote unquote grail and has stood the test of times is because it was a lot of it, it kind of showcased what hot toys were capable at the time it was a great head sculpt it still is a great head sculpt like so the fact it was uh they'd done like the paint application so well the uh battle damage parts so well yeah then led light up eye it comes with two different jackets to swap out regular battle damaged arm a bunch of different accessories i thought the likeness was there on both sculpts you got a lot so i think the reason this has stood the test of time is because they'd done things at such a high quality however all the things that i'm after mentioning Hot Toys have got incrementally or even exponentially better at. They could do a better sculpt, and this sculpt is great, but they still could improve it. They're, that's just their, the game they're at. They could do a better sculpt, they could do better paint apps, they could uh, put in le leather, and they could also, like we've seen with that um, Batman I'm going to talk about later on, they could include a bit of die cast on some of those metal parts. So uh, I think that's everyone on the panel saying, yeah, this one is worthy of a 2.0. Shane, could yep. I say something on 2.0s and yep. toy collecting? Just mm -hmm. a, I want to play devil's advocate. So if you look at toy collecting, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll throw, I could throw out numerous examples. Evil Knievel, the original version goes for way higher money. Way higher money. Three, four, five, ten times. And I've done five revisions of that. There's numerous things. So when it comes to like the original stuff, because people get throw it away and it goes to landfill, whatever, becomes more rare. But again, as a collector, you want the best version of something you love. But sometimes people are chasing a resale value. It is it's there? I don't, but it's there. Because you're either curating or you're doing whatever. But the original stuff is more valuable in, let's call it, it's a toy. And for me, that's a fact. 
I've got various stuff from childhood, and the original stuff is more so after. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious, long term, I see a lot of dopamine hits. You're just chasing, you you want the next thing. We're not appreciate, appreciating what we've got. You're looking for the next best thing. You're looking for 2.0, 3.0. And we've seen 2.0 and 3.0 aren't better than the original in some cases. Mm. So, I, I don't know. I just... Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. At the same time, it's like, when I look at, say, I know my movie icons display or what's beside behind me, if there is a character I really, really uh, care about, I do want the best version on display. And if that means selling a previous version, sometimes I'll do that. Not always. Not always. Depends on that character i do like to have like the best version up there but i'm not always gonna i'm not as you say i'm not always gonna chase the the 2.0 uh for every single piece um i'm happy with what i have for some but then other ones like no i i do want an improved version shay shay can i say um, yeah go on sorry uh with with the 2.0s i was gonna say is that i'm not a marvel collector but i think if they did a 2.0 of the whole new avengers yeah, the, I think a lot of people want 2012, that. 2012, yeah, yeah. I think it is, yeah, whatever. Yeah. If they did all of that, then that would get me probably back into, you know, Artisan or whatever. But they'll, yeah, I get but that. predominantly 2.0 Hulk yeah. and everything like that, I think that would push me back into Marvel yeah. for something like I that. Because you. the original figures, I mean, the original, the Thor Avengers was dreadful if you look mm. back at it now, you know. So yeah. things like that, I think, have moved on so much that I think certain yeah. lines may benefit 2.0 more than others. Mm-hmm. like certain 2.0s I'll give you a perfect example that Iron Man Mark 3 2.0 oh that man that is it's such an amazing piece and like they needed that because it's it was the one that kick started it all and the previous version was under scale the paint apps weren't as good the uh, had that swap out kind of neutral and twisted torso that's a perfect example of 2.0 I'm going to chase because it's it's a triple threat like I say the DX19 is I, I think it's a lot better than the DX02 it's marginally better than the DX12 I still think it's better than the DX12 um, but but then again, their characters, which are triple threats for me, whereas something like we're going to discuss the armored battle damage armored Batman today, I think it's a worthy 2.0, but I might not necessarily pick it up. So I get what you're saying, Ian. It's like there's onwards to the latest thing, but if the latest thing you don't have an attachment to, do you really need to upgrade? Or if you're happy with your own? And, and, and as a, a long time collector, what I want is I'm. I'm Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to say what I want to say tonight is I'm concerned about this year that a lack of source material that they'll throw out 2.0 or 3.0s. There's will. a million figures out there that would sell like hotcakes that they've not made. It's For me, it's all about balance. It's, I, want, I don't want any other collector to be deprived of not getting a figure that they really want. I'm not into that. I'm not that exclusive guy. So, but I'm concerned about them just do, taking the, the easy route and doing 2.0s and everybody being happy and it's this, and then the people will just, we see it, particularly in the US market, the, the figure resale is fell off a cliff and it's just cheapening the collecting community in my opinion. I want to see a better balance in giving us all these figures that they should be given. And there's a huge amount of traction. Pfeiffer Catwoman is one. That would break the internet. And they're not doing it. <clears throat> but then yep. they'll go and do 2.0, 3.0, sometimes 4.0s. Mm-hmm. So get the balance right and I'm all behind it. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd love if they had a, like an artisan Ripley from either the first or second Alien. I'd love if they had like a Hicks and a Hudson some of those colonial marines uh, go back and do the characters from Terminator 1 big and 2 chat. like uh, yeah big chat but I, 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 on, I honestly I can't see it happen I think this year we're going to get a bunch of 2.0s and they're going to be the likes of Iron Man and Batman and stuff like that I'm going to address the chat really really quickly so as usual folks there is a link to uh, if you want to join if you want to become a channel member it is pinned to the live chat there much appreciated I don't know what I can't, I can't read this but they're saying in art is greater than 
is 100 times greater than half toys. You're entitled to your opinion. Uh, of course, we have Phil Empire Strikes. I'm going to move this. You can't see. Can't see the boys. There we go. We have Dan and Carbonate. We got Austin McLean. We have one sixth Rick. And we also. Welcome to the club, man. <laughs> We have a brand new channel member. Thank you very much, Austin McLean. I appreciate the support and I appreciate you becoming a channel member. So we'll make him feel very welcome. We got Thalia Meyer. Um, we've got, of course, uh, Loki collect Collector. Calvin, another man looking forward to that 1989 jazzy. We got Keith 0065. Thanks very much for being here. We've got Clinton Martin. We've got Malik McBain. Uh, who else? We've got Mike Fiello with his exclamation marks. We have Avengers Assemble. So many people in the chat and only eight likes. Uh, show Shane some love. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. We've got Kyle Goodwin saying hit that like. I do appreciate that. Ryan Smith, channel member and a massive Batman fan. Thanks very much for being here. Clinton Martin, thanks for confirming that. Uh, we got Brick Artemis. Keep on bricking. We have the blaze, the blazing Asian. No echo, fellas. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Keith's trying to be funny there. I like it though. Uh, we got six scale reviews. We got Dan. Thanks very much for 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 being here. Much appreciate. Must get you on here next time you get a a bit of, if you have a day off or something like that. Open inv invitation, of course. Uh, Malik McBain. We have. We also have uh, Danatone. Hello, everyone. Thanks very much for being here. We've got Figurecraft, a new channel member. Thank you very much for being here, uh, Philly. We're trying to get Philly on an episode of Visions. Going to make it happen. We got JB. Uh, we also have. Who else we got? Who else we got? We got the movie can gifted a channel member there during the week. I think it was by Mike L. Actually, got blue tattoo. Mark attack here to cause trouble, no doubt. I'm only joking. Thanks for being here. Do appreciate it. Um, there was a comment from Stanley. I might have missed it. Now, where's Eddie? Is Eddie banned? Eddie is absolutely not banned. I think he's working, but I did send him a link. We got <laughs> Keaton, Keaton Carr, eighty nine. Actually, I got a Grail figure. I'm waiting for years to make, but it ended up third party. 89 Alfred Housekeeper. Good stuff. You get the Mars toys. Excellent. Let us know how it is. I think I'm kind of up to date. We got Blue Tattoo. I told, I told Stanley Sorry. you threw him out. You, I told Stanley <laughs> you threw him out because Don't he didn't that, like Robocop. That's, <laughs> that's a rumor start. That's a rumor start. Uh, we got Humbleman707. I'm Adin. Got Christopher uh, Reeves. And I don't want the update. He is great as is. Uh, who else do we have? I'm trying to think I'm nearly caught up. Ah, speaking of the devil and he will appear. We got a Thrawn's office, Mike L, who gifted that channel membership to the movie canon. I think it was on the episode of Visions at the weekend. Uh, thank you very much for being here. Uh, uh, hello all, in-laws in are over and I'm off to work. Some people might say you've escaped there, but like I don't want to make fun of your in-laws. Uh, thanks very much for, for uh, tuning in. I do appreciate that, Mike. We'll get you on here again. Batman Collectibles, thank you very much for being here. I wouldn't mind to hear your thoughts on the Jazz Inc. 89. Is that something you're interested in? And here we are. I think we're up to date now. Good stuff. All right. So, Dan, could you please pick another one of these? Let's do the snap. Let's do the snap. All right. Yeah. People are just getting straight into us. I like this. In fairness, it took me like two it. years to call out all those things. All right, we're going to get this. Make sure you have them lined up. All right, so folks, if you are new to the channel, what we do usually once a week on the Hope Show, we have the snap. I'm going to show you three different images one at a time, and in each of the two, if each of the three images, there's going to be two pictures, and you've got to decide which ones you are going to tannis, thanis, snap, dust, make disappear. It never happened forever. This one's a bit of fun. Would you like to get rid of which one of these amazing movies? These Oscar-winning performances, these game changers, these, uh, I don't know, what would you call them? Like, um, masterpieces, would you like to dust? Thor 4, Love and Thunder, or the Marvels? Dan, which ones would you prefer never existed? Uh, I haven't seen the Marvels, so that one, because it looks <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> so, um, uh, um, and I, 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 with all its, you know... I thought Love and Thunder, it, it wasn't great, but it didn't. I didn't come out absolutely hating it. Um, and I haven't seen it since. It's weird. Uh, since since Endgame, I haven't really watched, apart from Spider-Man, the last Spider-Man, I haven't actually re-watched a lot of the Marvel films again. 
which tells you something apart from Guardians. So uh, Guardians yeah, three I'm, is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I, I've not watched. I've not watched Thor again. So um, keep Thor. rewatchability is a big thing. And if your film, movie doesn't have it, it is. It is, and it's really weird. It's like it's the same. It's like I really enjoyed Indiana Jones when I saw it at the cinema, but I've not watched it again. Um, the new indie film, I quite liked it, but it's it's weird with a lot of the Disney stuff at the moment that I've not done a second watch. But um, Thor: Love and Thunder's to stay, Marvel's to go for me. Okay, um, Jose. Uh, I mean, you guys know I'm biased for anything Natalie Portman, so I'll keep Love and Thunder, even though they're both bad. Hey, man, uh, that also, good, that's as good a reason yeah. as any. Well played. Yeah, and we get the figures from uh, the Valkyrie figure. I actually got it. It's really, really nice. So the good Valkyrie stuff. figure, and then we'll get the Mighty Thor figure. So we get figures, and we didn't get figures for the Marvel. So. Okay, good stuff. Uh, what about yourself, Phil? I'll take screaming goats over singing townspeople any day, so the Marvels is gone. Yeah, look, I'm just doing this quick. I, both these movies were awful, <laughs> but I actually think the Marvels was more awful. And at least at least Thor, Love and Thunder, uh, the one bit that stood out to me as I liked was the uh, the black and white bit. Um, there was an action scene. It was black and white. I think everything was black and white apart from possibly the lightning bolt. I thought that was quite cool. Uh, that's cool. the only thing I particularly liked. Uh, Has anyone Ian. actually seen it again? Go on. Have you actually Have I seen it twice? No. I, I oh, started yeah. watching. I, I, I was here one night and uh, I was really bored and I just threw it on. I was like, no, I just turned it off. And I just, I'm just decent. wondering if it was better the second time. No, Has I didn't get through it, it the second time, which isn't a good no. sign. But which says Ian. something. Yeah. I was born with two two hands, two gauntlets. Snap the All two right. of them. I'm you joking. Know what? But if out of this, it's the Marvels. I didn't even finish it. Absolute dog shit. That How do you know? Is. You're judging the book by the cover. The last 15 minutes was the best. Bi- no, I'm joking. No, no. <laughs> we're on. No. Okay, now we're getting into the real stuff, folks. There are no easy choices Ooh. here tonight. Would you snap Jurassic Park never existed? You can never see it again because it never existed. Or would you get rid of E.T.? Jurassic Park. Wow, I didn't think that would be that quick. Dan? Oh, man. Do you know what? E.T. growing up for me was massive. I don't know about the older guys in the panel. It's probably Ian and me. Which is and, and, cheeky and, uh, bastard. <laughs> I, I, Come on. <laughs> Just because I've had a hard paper round with my grey hair, you know. Um, hey, listen, <laughs> E.T., I, I used to do BMX and when I was a kid, skateboarding yeah. as well, and it was a big thing that and science and aliens uh, et so, yeah. et for me as well and i don't know if any anyone remembers was the first pirate vhs that we ever had everyone oh. had it on pirate vhs you're gonna I have to explain to 90 percent of the audience what a v no i'm joking <laughs> uh the the, the the analysis the analytics on the channel uh the vast majority of people who watch the channel are somewhere between i think uh 30 and 50 or something like that. Oh, like, okay. So. I'm near, I'm just in that. So, um, there we go. There we go. so, uh, I would, oh man, it's really hard because ET brings back a lot of memories for a kid, but Jurassic Park is a technological, you know, both Spielberg, like uh, genius. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh man. Do you know what? Oh, I'm going to snap Jurassic Park. Sorry. Brian Fontaine, Jurassic Park 100 times out of 100. I'm noticing a trend here because uh, I see uh, Brian, shout out to Brian. Brian Brian is definitely one of the catalysts that this channel probably wouldn't exist if it wasn't for. There's a lot of people, uh, Marco16fix, obviously uh, Megan was very supportive. Um, Marco was particularly supportive, he's the first person I made a kind of a episode. Brian Fontaine and the... Um, Sorry, I'm not going to finish that. I made an episode and I showed him on a, a link and he was like, yeah, yeah, should you give me a few tips? And he was like, yeah, push it out. Um, Brian Fontaine and the guys over there at Six Scale Scavengers. Um, uh, yeah, a f- few other people as well. But uh, yeah, look, uh, massive thanks for tuning in. I'm noticing that the kind of older members of the panel, and I'm including myself in that, and probably in the chat are saying Snap Jurassic Park because they have that nostalgic connection to E.T., I'm in that boat as well. Both of these movies are amazing. 
but I'm going to snap Jurassic Park because I have more of a connection. E.T., my sister loves E.T. and it was one of like the VHSs we just wore out. But I'm seeing younger people in the chat say Collector Joey going, I think he said snap E.T. because he's maybe that bit younger and e- Jurassic Park was his E.T. or something. Jose, you're going to snap E.T., aren't you? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, yeah, I, w- I would snap E.T. I like E.T. a lot, but I saw it when I was older. Uh, Jurassic Park was actually one of the first, like, earliest memories I have of going to the movie theater. We actually went to a drive-in to watch Jurassic Park. Oh, that's cool. So, that's cool. Drive-ins are cool. What about yourself, Phil? <clears throat> yeah, as you say, I mean, nostalgia-wise, E.T. is the better of the two. But the watchability, I would say Jurassic Park. I've probably watched Jurassic Park more that I watched E.T. Um, but I think somebody could always come along with the technology and make a fantastic dinosaur movie, whereas E.T. I think is it's a one-off. So snap Jurassic, keep E.T. Can, can they? Can e- they? E.T. figure can they, as though? well. <laughs> Sorry? Can they make more really good dinosaur movies? I they guess. will. Somebody will. Yes. Well, the Scarlett Johansson's talking about the, the new one, isn't she? She's going to be starring in the new... I, yeah, get your point, I get your point, though. Yeah. I get your point. Yeah. I mean, the people behind the Jurassic magic Park. of the first one, though. Yeah. I mean, how many even sequels in, are there? Even in the second one, I was like, oh, you're, you're, you're going back, really? All right, that's a terrible decision. But we I know they have to make We do sequels. need a E.T. figure, by the way, as well. That would be great. Um, there was yeah. one. <clears throat> is it Doggy Doc Designs that Customizer did one with the bike and everything? Now, cost you an arm and a leg. I saw that. That looked amazing. Oh, yeah, but, I mean, yeah, you know, absolutely. like a... You know, like a, a proper, you know, sort of. I want one that one that us folk could afford, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Have a lost raptor ride in in Universal is mind blowing, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, mate. Yeah. Yes. That is good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what kind of format is it? Is it like a screen thing or is it a roller coaster? It's no, it's ro- roller, roller coaster. coaster. Insane. Absolutely mm. insane. Good stuff. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, folks, Shane, this one. Shane, sorry. Yep. Before you go on, question for yep. the fact checker, because I don't know why <clears> the. <throat> David Attenborough, no, Richard Attenborough, put on a Scottish accent for the first Jurassic Park movie. He was born because in Because dinosaurs Cambridge, were England. invented in Scotland, along with the I TV. Have, I have no the idea. The telephone. Penicillin. And penicillin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I read books. Um, read that in a book, Jose. What movie? Do you know? Oh. No, I don't know that. I read that before me though. In a book. Anyone? Chat, can somebody answer that? Why you put on a Scottish accent? I thought that was. We're asking two questions at once. But um, he wanted to be like you, Ian. He's only human. He's only human. (laughs) Was he a big Sean Connery fan? Aren't we all? Is there an answer to this or is it just like a yeah. Rhetorical question. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm kind of hoping there's an answer because uh, right. <clears throat> we, we watched, I've got Jurassic Park on 4K and we watched it two weeks ago and I was so, still thinking, why did he put on a Scottish accent? You it know, I want to get, I want to bed for 10 p.m. So uh, unless anyone knows, uh, <laughs> right? This is what happens when you're when when you're my age, right? So um, this next one is purely purely going to lead into what we're going to be talking about yes I'm doing it so I have seen I had to stop reading comments I typically don't hang around Facebook groups too much and I don't really make I rarely make comments Uh, but my god I saw some of the absolute vitriol I was out there this week people absolutely tearing into people like you know you know person X um, just posting a a photo of their 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 figure going, do you know, like what you think of this pose, whatever, and then people going, oh yeah, it looks great for a toy and absolutely tearing, you know, saying, why didn't you get the inner like it was it was it was embarrassing, like, do you know what I mean? It was actually it, it was it, it was total vitriol. Um But I am asking to choose. If you could only have one, which one would you choose? We don't have to go like like let's face it, none of these are shit. Like, you cannot possibly think that one of these is just, I, 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 I would disagree if anyone says that either of these are, are, are bad but yeah there's going to be one that you like better okay maybe it's hot days maybe it's the inner doesn't mean you're right um, 
But I'm asking the, the panel to chat. If you could only own one and you to dust the other one, never existed, what would you pick? Jose, you're smiling. You can go first. Uh, <laughs> well, I was smiling because I was thinking about all the comments I read too. But uh, yeah. They're pretty uh, bad, weren't they? I'm yeah, not wrong. They were, I didn't imagine. Yeah, it was, like, it was, it was, it was yeah. tough. There was people getting kicked out of groups for saying yeah. stuff. And it was, it was, uh, yeah. It was interesting to read. Uh, I got a couple of chuckles mm. here and there, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, I there, just... there was there was one photo, and there was like I think there was seventy two comments or something, and the first two were absolute people spitting venom, and I was like, right, I'm just gonna carry on living my life. I did, I couldn't read the rest of them, but um, sorry, I was like, go on. Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's there's two sides to it, but to make my choice here, I think I'd pick in art. Uh, I I you know, hot toys. Uh, it's is a good uh, product, and it, you got it sooner. You know when are we gonna get this one? So if you wanted it sooner, and I don't think you're you're gonna be let down. But what you get, I mean, I've I've seen it in person. I saw it at Philly's, uh, who welcomed us to his house this past weekend, and I saw it there with the Batmobile, and he had it in this crazy pose, beating up some guy on top of the Batmobile, True. and uh, yeah, that's it was Philly, it was Philly so, Figurecraft. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, and. Uh, so, I mean, I, I thought it looked really, really cool. So, I mean, I don't think I'd be upset to have that one, but I do think the superior product is in art, but they both have their upsides. So, you know, that's what I would okay. pick. So, so you, you dust the one on the right here, the, the hot dog. That's correct. Mm -hmm. What about yourself, Phil? Yeah, just in that photograph alone, the, the in art looks far superior, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm watching some of the unboxings on, on influencer channels or what have you I'd dust the hot toys keep the in out and the bat signal is in my opinion is far better than the hot toys mm -hmm. um <clears throat> I'll, I'll leave mine to last but full disclosure i have both on order so i don't know does that mean i i'm not going to be biased or does that mean i'm more by i don't I've, I've both on order anyway um so what are you what are you thinking i know that you have you've got the hot toys one on order don't you Yes, <clears throat> so it's two things for me that I noticed. It's not just the figure here. Um, I believe the art's better. I've got the Hot Toys coming this week, and I'm happy with it. But got to be aware as well. If and I know some guys in the panel here will agree, the Hot Toys photo is shit because the ISO's wrong, the lighting's wrong, the art is taken well better it's it's so much better that's that's a photographer well, the person that done then that eh, sorry the hot toys it's not a good photo look at all the noise in the background it's not a great figure so if you separate that and knowing what we know um i do believe then that especially the accessories it's it's a better figure but i'm really happy with my hot toys figure that's coming this week it's gone on the bike set and forget good stuff this um this there's a bunch of comments coming in but i just noticed this one and this one is from batman collectible so this guy should be in the know you know he said when you make only two figures a year better be damn near perfect <laughs> yes i have both yeah. in art and po that's a that's a fair point i'd like for them just to get up to a steady one figure a quarter i think maybe we might see that this year or next year um i think maybe next year is going to be their one figure a quarter year possibly um but yeah so dan what do you reckon like um you have to dust one and keep the other or you can only order which one are you going to dust which one do you think uh, better? I, I dust the hot toys just solely because i'm i've ordered the in art and uh i mm -hmm. think it looks i think it looks i think it looks great especially after the last week of the photos they put on the production line last week that everyone lost their minds to um, and I think it's great that we all said it. I think, was it last week or the week before, wasn't it? And we all said, actually, like, don't <clears> panic. <throat> you know, it's... Yeah. It, and I, and, I think and we were pretty cool, measured, right? to be honest, because we've we've seen this before. Yeah. Pennywise, the first few photos came out, people were like, what is the story with the, the tailoring? It was all kind of poofy in the neck or something like that. And then they released some better images, like, all right, the panic subsided. The Inert Joker, when it was really close to being released, there was that awkward photo I always reference where... The shoulders look really square and unnatural just because they're probably raised really up. The hair didn't look great. The, um, the the tie didn't look great. And then suddenly we see the real photos and, you know, uh, I think there's, I think they're four for four, to be honest. But um, uh, so is that everyone on the panel saying they dust the Hot Toys one? Yeah. 
but we're yeah. being clear. I, well, again, I can only speak for myself. There are no bad figures between the mm-hmm. two of these. I, I, I just don't get that. No, I don't get that kind of like okay, the inert to ten out of ten, and the hot toys is no. a zero. Like, come on, that there are numbers, no. you know, one to nine in between them. You, you know, might have the edge. I think they do have the edge. I do prefer the inert version from what I've seen, but I, I don't. I, I don't think it's like a, it's it's a binary thing, zero or one, zero or ten or whatever. I, I think there's. Do you know what I compare it to? This is the best way I can describe it. Athletes who get into the Olympics. If you get into the Olympics and you're, 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 um, you're, you're, what, 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 what I'm looking for a word, your event is the 100 meter sprint. There's probably like a couple hundred people who missed out on the Olympics by literally a fraction of a second. But yet you could be the champion to hold the world record and you have to hold the world record by literally fraction of a sentence or a, a, a second. Like I, th- I don't know who holds the the world record for the the. Uh, what is it still Usain Bolt for the hundred meter sprint? I'm not sure. Maybe that was ten years old information. But you're talking like running hundred meters in like nine point something something seconds. So my point is the people that win those events, they're the best in the world by fractions of a second. I think it's kind of like this. It's not like uh, one of you know you have a figure worth two hundred and you have a figure worth four hundred and the one that's worth four hundred is twice as good. I think you're. You do pay those big bucks for those little details which make a big difference. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would snap the Hot Toys one. And I've got both of them on order, so I, I try not to be... Um, Shane, to be, um, on, on another thing, on, on a, uh, did I did someone... I heard it on the stream. Did they say that the Batman 89's delayed? Did you hear that or something? I heard that on the stream this week and I didn't know. I've, I've don't missed know. that. But a lot of stuff from Sideshow lately is... To, is um, yeah. Okay. I've got that... I don't buy from Sideshow, but I have a heap of points and I use them on the Selena Kyle and that's been released for, what, two months? Or no, no notification yet. So uh, yeah. I think a lot of people only got their, their, their Batmans there recently. They're really delaying a lot, speaking of Sideshow. So Ryan has chimed in. Sideshow have made the best Batman. The debate is settled. All right, folks, we're going to end <laughs> the stream there. Uh, thank you, Ryan. Uh, appreciate uh, you uh, watching. And but, to confirm, um, Shane, Bolt uh, had, does have the record for 100 meters. Bolt, yeah. Nine point something seconds, I'd say, is it? 9.58, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotcha. So, like, just because, like, say, someone holds a record, they mightn't be, like, twice as good as the other athletes. They're a little fraction of a second good. And, but those little se- they, the second, the little fraction second count, and in this case, I think the little details that Inert have, I, I do think it's, it's just realism. It just looks like a, more like a person. That's what I'm saying. So look, I think this is a good time of any just to actually delve into some of these uh, photos. So these images here, uh, I took them off a Facebook group here. It is by um, the blogger Black. I'm just going to flick through some of these. And I I don't know, I just think these are absolutely stunning. So credit to this uh, photographer, blogger, um, collector, uh, Black. Anyone want to chime in on any of these photos? Um, what about Alan Six Scale Gallery in the chat? I see you there. What do you think it is? See, see for me, Shane, the, when it, I don't care about the sculpt, the Bruce Wayne or anything like that. The things that stuck stuck out for me was on in art. I just preferred the continuity of the suit, the shoulder pads, just look that little bit better. Um, so it's it the little things, it. yeah. Just and the accessories are way better, way better. But again, repeat if anybody's got the hot toys, you've not done anything wrong, and I'm one of them, so I'm happy with it. But yeah, I can recognize order, yeah, what looks better to me, yeah. yeah I but think, yeah, um, it, R- Ryan in the chat there, I'm really looking forward to seeing his, um his review because he is the all inset and i think someone touched on it earlier on um i, I, I think it's, it was a post in his facebook group saying that the review will be up today so i'm looking forward to watching that i think dan touched on it earlier on or someone did about the the scaling is more accurate on the inert one and it has the proper tone of light i think that makes a difference as well but uh sorry ian i i, I you were talking about the drape of the cape you prefer yeah no it was the the 
shoulder armour, it, the the tone of it just feels a little bit better than it's too dark on the Hot Toys one. Listen, when we're picking up little nuances between two figures, we're talking about two really nice figures in my opinion, so um, I think it, it, there's no right or wrong here, but for mm. me, I've not got the art, it looks better, but I'm happy <laughs> with what I've got. Mm. And I think that's like... Uh like the way you just said there, you said you don't have the inner, you're picking up the hot toys and then you're moving on. Like, that's probably what we need more of. That kind of, yeah, look, there's, there's a better one out there, but I, I don't necessarily need to chase it. I'm happy mm. with what I have because the two figures are good. And, and you're even saying that you prefer the inner one. So yeah. like, you, you, if you were being biased, you'd probably go, no, 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 the hot toys one's better to maybe, I don't know, justify your purchase or whatever. Like, but I'm getting the two of them, but it's, I don't know if I'm going to keep the two of them. I might just keep the one that I prefer. Dan, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, could you tell what version did you order? Uh, I ordered the in art sculpted, which okay. I was really happy because I I, I just didn't I, I don't know I just I'll always go for the rooted version, but for this one I just I just I don't know if I'm going to use the Bruce Wayne head sculpt like Ian said, and um, uh, I'm I'm actually really happy how the sculpted came out. I think it's come out. Looks great, like really good compared to the Hot Toys, which is still good. So I gotta um, say, I used to always say like, okay, for the duration of the, uh, I, I, from what I've seen about certain prototypes and actual products from the in art, I used I I'd say a lot. Hot Toys have the edge when it comes to sculpted hair. Case in point, that new Anakin, the sculpted hair is phenomenal, 100%, and I'd still yeah. stand by that. But I have to say. The images coming out of this sculpted hair, I think they've even improved, say, to the Joker sculpted. But sorry, mm. sorry, I cut you off, uh, Dan. No, that's no, that's, that's all I've got to say. I think it's, it's. To be honest, it's the first time I've actually seen. I've, I've not, you know, been online that much this week, and uh, and when I did, like you said, it's, it's just there's so much bitching going on. It's crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, they look, they look, they both look great. And and I've seen that my friend's got the the Hot Toys version, and when I saw it, he had it over at Christmas. I went and saw it, and it, it looks fantastic. So. I don't know. It doesn't really matter which one you've got. It's just down to preference. I made sure I ordered mine late, to be honest, because because it, did the in art one come out afterwards? Didn't it? It was, really, was it, it announced. Was announced it was, afterwards, wasn't it? Yeah, it was announced in August, I believe, and uh, yeah, twenty twenty two, and the the hot toys stuff, the regular hot toys, the deluxe hot toys, the signal, and the one with the base and the signal. They all came out March 2022. I think it was actually, I think they actually were released on a Friday that it came out in cinemas here. I'm pretty sure uh, in, in Ireland anyway. So, um, yep. But um, but from my point of view, I think, I think well, the, the, the thing I was going to say about the in art is because we're, for me, I don't pre-order a lot of stuff, hot toys, because I get them either day one Hong Kong, I've got a good, you know, sometimes you pay a little bit over or I just pick them up later. But within art, we're in that sort of stage now where we've got a pre-order, and that was the same with this one. I probably, if it was the, if it was just a Hot Toys version come out, I would have probably tried to get it when it came out over Christmas. But you're paying a big um, sort of hefty price for that. With this yeah. though, we're, but within art, we're all pre-ordering now, aren't you? Because it'll be really interesting to see how many of these are left, if there are any left. You know what I mean? Like, you know, on yep. the secondary market, like, will Kit get loads more in? Because mm -hmm. to be fair, he actually still had them in stock for pre-order over the weekend because my mm -hmm. friend got one for both 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 the rooted and the sculpted, but they're not there now because obviously it's yep. come out and everyone's seen it. Now, yeah, so, now the hype is real. A lot of people don't pre-order. They wait, they see the final product, which is yep. smart in the sense that you get to see what you're buying. Absolutely. Like, if, if they've hit the nail on the head, if the product is as good or better than the prototypes, or if there's just a but, marginal drop-off. But it'd drop be off. interesting to see when we get these. Um, we, you know, that's one of the, you know, sort of subjects that comes up all the time of in art. But I know um, that we. It'll be interesting to see if I get the the sculpted before a lot of people because did the rooted take a lot more to cut? Do you know what I mean? Did a lot of people get their sculpted jokers before the rooted? Be interested mm, to know. know. Jose, you're you're with me, aren't you? You've got the same.
You okay? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't unmute. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, yes, I got, I got the sculpted. <laughs> yes. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if I, we I, get I, this before. I like, heard. You know, I heard that the sculpted might go out first because obviously they didn't have to like do the rooting. Yeah. So I, I heard that that might be possible. So. So we might get that first because I'm sure the people with the the sculpted Joker got theirs a lot before that. You know, right. a lot of them got them way before. You know, the batches of the the. The rooted, so it will be interesting mm -hmm. to see what they're going to do. Actually, good stuff. What about yourself, Jose? You, um, I don't know what you're doing. I think you've got the Hot Toys one. Have you ordered the no. NR2? Are you? No, no, no? sculpt. As, as Dan was saying, sculpted in our is what I went. Oh, oh sorry, I'm with you. Yeah, now I'm with you. All right, good stuff. And yeah. um, so, like, are you you happy you've made the the right choice? Any regrets not going for the rooted? Uh, uh, I mean, looking at it, I mean, I think that. In hindsight, I just thought it, I would never use the Bruce Rowan sculpt. So I was like, I just wanted the the cow look. I think that's what I'm going to use most of the time. So I just felt like I'd use it. I, I use that look more than the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Like now that they're doing the whole drifter set, like maybe perhaps I do kind of, I'm like, oh, maybe I should have got the rude look. But, you know, I'm not even committed to doing that. So I think I'm satisfied. I'm going to have them as Batman, not with the Bruce Wayne head sculpt mm -hmm. anyway. So it doesn't really bother me. And as it's, the criticism towards the, the the head size is also doesn't bother me because again, my my the way I'm seeing it, the way I'm going to have them is with the cow. So uh, I you know I see there's yeah. there's plus and minuses to both both figures. You know, uh, just by looking at them. But I, I you know I'm happy with my choice. Yeah, like the images I've seen of like say the rooted holding the cowl in his hand with just that hair is like how much better can these things get it's scary good like um what about yourself uh, phil what are you thinking well i nearly jumped on the hype train when hot toys first announced i can't remember how long after the movie it was and i was 100 percent of the time going to pick the hot toys version up since then yeah uh, the, the hype has worn off i've actually <laughs> I've grown to hate this Batman. I love the movie, but this figure is it's just not for me. I hate the cape. Mm -hmm. I just think it looks like a so bin you bag. Must have loved this week, did you? <laughs> oh, it was fantastic seeing everyone uh, cat fighting over this. Yeah, he comes cause... back from holidays and he's like, "Get me on a plane." <laughs> um, right, so you're you're yeah. out on both versions then. I'm lucky. Yeah, if if I was going to get a Batman, I'd I'd be going DX19. Not yeah, interested yeah. in this at all. And you could pick it up for an absolute bargain. It's a great thing. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I am still looking forward to what they'll do with this. Look, I'll summarize my thoughts really, really quickly. I, very early on, ordered the Hot Toys version. They're all in version with the deluxe modular base and the signal. I am a bit disappointed that the, the light is not the correct color. That's a miss. Um, I knew it was under scale, but... After I, I never thought I'd say this out loud. Jose, Jose's gonna have a fucking feel of it. From what I've seen, I had no interest in that goddamn Bruce Wayne. But I do have an interest in that inert signal. And the thought of getting all three pieces and the complete set is appealing to me a little more. I'm not gonna lie. I think this figure is stunning. I've got the inert rooted single on order. I think I'll just leave it at that and just accept that I won't have that beautiful in art signal. But oh, I don't know, man. Watch the space. I thought I have a complete set. I'd be lying if it doesn't tickle my fancy just a bit. I'm trying to be strong. I gotta dig deep on this. Is Austin, anyone getting, sorry, is anyone on? getting the in art Batman but using the Hot Toys bike? No, I'm not getting the bike now. No, I just didn't know. If I saw a video where you could, because I, I looks like the articulation on the inner one's really good. So yeah, they yeah, did a comparison. I saw that. Yeah. yeah, where they put them on the bike, they put the Hot Toys one, and then they put the inner one, and the inner one looked a little bit smoother. But, uh, it, but I don't know. It, it seems like every set of decent photos I see, or every review that I've seen so far, is making me appreciate the inner one, like a lot more. I just had to pull this mm. comment up. I love this. I love this. Uh, Shout out to you, Austin McLean, new channel member. I pulled a Marco. I just love the way that that is a thing. And I have three in our Batman coming, one rooted and two sculpted. If ever there was a time to play this clip, the time is now.
Shit, boy. Shit, partner. Shit. 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 Thanks for your time. But also, if if you want to pull a Marco, I'm going to treat you like a Marco. Catch your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, man, you're crazy. But look, uh, look, you obviously love it, and look, you'll be, you'll be delighted to be my Christmas. Right, well, love Sh- to Shane, plan. I've, I've, Shane I've got a question. Sorry. Go on. So, yeah, have you thought where you would put the bat signal? No. 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 Um. No. No, I have not. I have not. You, no, I have. I have. Yeah, I definitely have. Um. Oh, I've, you- I You're have multiple it. different. <laughs> I've yeah. No, I'm trying to be strong on that, but that was a very very good question. I, I see what you did there. Okay, so look, both versions are good. The panel's leaning more towards the inert one, although uh, Ian is getting the hot toys. He still recognizes uh, the, the, mm-hmm. the the beauty of this and the artistry. So look, time will tell. Um, if you've ordered yours, you should be getting yours sometime around uh, May June, twenty twenty six. So uh, look. We look forward to it. look forward to. It. All right, let's go back to the uh, Ian. You'll 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 choose, will you? You wouldn't mind uh, choosing some setting on our way to okay. this. Uh... What's left? Well, we've only discussed. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not o. picking that top right. So what? Let's... Okay, can we can we pass it on to someone who wants? Does anyone want to channel challenge? Does anyone <laughs> want to ch- ch- challenge uh, challenge? Can't use my words. Hold on. <laughs> Is there no one else? Anyone anyone all up for the challenge? Dan. Dan Dan's oh, in. Dan. Okay, so Ian, you're gonna pick next, but right now we're gonna, oh, we're gonna start this challenge. Alright. So what we're gonna do Movies from the early eighties, please, Ian. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is you don't get to first choose. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get the, 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 the music right here. I wanna get my where is this uh this uh, the pro- the, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna drop this. Okay, Just, you should be able to hear that music now. Can you still hear us? We're good. Okay. Yep. So what I have is Dan. Everyone like Jose is gonna get three questions. You're gonna get three questions. Now the format is simple. I'm gonna ask the first question is gonna ask each of you to to name the year uh, which a movie was released, a particular movie. Um, the next question, second question, you're both going to question who directed movie X and the third one, who starred as character Y. So, um, Jose, you are the reigning champion. He is undefeated. I think, uh, was it 2-1 the last time? Did I, I think I pulled one back. Did you get that third question? 2-1, okay. Sounds better yeah, than 3-1 or 3-0. He's the reigning champion. He's undefeated. Dan, uh, sorry, Jose, are you going to let him go first or would you like to go first, Jose? He can go first. I'll let him okay. go first. That's a gentleman. Okay. Hope this is a Jaws question. This would be good for me. Not too far off it. He might have chose poorly. Um, okay, Go it doesn't on. matter. He's going to get his one right too. Um, Dan, yeah. in what year did E.T. release? 1982. That is correct. One point to Dan. Over to Jose. In what year did Saving Private Ryan release? Oh. I'm loving the music, guys. Are you loving the music? Oh my gosh. It's been Private Ryan. I think I'm going to go. It's, it's like late 90s. 1998. You are an absolute mutant. And I mean that in the nicest way. <laughs> he just tapped into his like Spidey oh, sense. I was say mutant ability there. Oh, Stanley. Dan is I was brave. baiting. Go I was on, debating. Dan. I think it was like it was like I know it's like late nineties. Like yeah. I was gonna say 97, 98, 99, around there. Okay, Good so one, man. the next question. Question for you, Dan. Who directed the movie, the twenty twenty two movie, Amsterdam? That was that re- it really crap, wasn't it? No one went to see it. I haven't seen it, I heard it was awful, one, yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he didn't have the time of his life. <laughs> Do 
thinking of someone that... But he's quite a well-known director, isn't it? No hints. Jose knows this as well, don't you? Really it, it won't pass on to him. His question will be different. Don't oh, worry. No. Oh, man. One apiece. And there's no phone a friend, Dan. Um, oh yeah, could you, uh, Jose and Dan, could you switch across to the private chat, just in case there's people in the chat who haven't been here before and might type the answer. Just uh, um, make sure that I don't think. I'm just thinking. I, I, my mind's gone blank now after that. I was expecting a nice early '80s question. Um, I'm, go, I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm really just. I. I oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Give um, me. Give me ten more seconds. It's not going to help at all. You made it do worse, do me do saying do that. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Go on. Um, the answer is... David O. Russell. It is David O. Russell. Correct, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't Stephen have got that anyway, that so that's fine. Okay, who directed The Fighter? This question is for you, Jose. You're muted. <laughs> we can know what he was saying. <laughs> Yeah, I said, oh, oh shit! I said, oh shoot! Oh shoot! Uh, the fighter, the fighter. If you're just joining us, Dan is challenging Jose the fact checker. They got their first questions right. Oh. Dan got his second question incorrect. If, if I'm correct, it's also a David O. Russell film, right? It is correct. They're both David O. Oh. Russell. They threw in a little curveball there. Okay. It is 2-1 after two rounds, going into the final question, oh. the final round. Question to you, Dan. Who played young Tom in the movie Interstellar? I don't know. He's got me, any. I was going to watch that the other day as well. I've only... I don't know, Tom Holland. That's, I don't know. Jose, do you want to tell him who it was? Timothy Chalamet. Shockingly, it was him, and he doesn't really look like himself. But now your question, you've won it anyway, it's 2-1, but see if you can have a clean sweep oh, and, and get 3-1. Who played the older version of Tom in the movie Interstellar? Casey Affleck. It is Casey Affleck. You've had like, your I, folks. Put, I'll put my hands here. So, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to do the rest of these with your I know, with your right, hands off. FIFA want to keep you honest. I I, I don't uh, doubt it for a second. So, never uh, doing that again. Time to celebrate. <laughs> so there is no one else. Well done. He's three for three undefeated. Okay, Jose, you get to pick. Ian will pick the next one. Uh, this music? Sorry. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's do the. We can do the Thor. I guess get that out of the way. Do the the Thor grand? I like the way you just said get that out of the way. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> okay, so uh, this should be quick. Sorry, I want to just remove that. I gotta check the map. Is that? Ah, oh, it's Eddie. Ah, oh, that's okay. It's not nothing too sensitive. Just that Eddie is uh, can't join us because he's at working. So Stanley. That's proof that I actually did invite Eddie. Um, so yeah, Eddie, we, we do miss Eddie. I hope he's hope he's listening. Right, so what we have here at the moment, um, so yeah, look, is anybody in the panel getting this? Getting to okay. it. Grand. Nice though, I think it's a nice looking figure to be fair. <laughs> right, I'm gonna flick through some of these images. Uh, I Look, I, I'll get mine out of the way. I have no interest in this. I thought the movie was brutal um and if i was getting a thor i wouldn't get this one and if i was getting a thor it'll probably be endgame thor because i have a lot of endgame figures but every time i look at a review and that kind of doesn't really sell it to me so that's my story i think shane what you were saying what we talked about earlier is for me again not having a any marvel at the moment it would be the avengers for the next one they need to do i think this is just i, I don't know Chris Hemsworth is a handsome man, but I, I really don't see Chris Hemsworth here. No. It, <clears throat> it's Shane, it, when I first saw this come out, I thought, oh, it looked like the um, Age of Ultron sculpt, but it's really not. And I, 
I looked at the figure I've got, Age of Ultron is far superior to that in sculpt, in my opinion. But that photo's kind of cool, but I'd lose the electricity effects. Like, I, the colours are going to pop, the red cape, the blue, the gold. And you were saying, you reckon, originally you thought it was the Age of Ultron sculpt. I've heard other people say that, but now you reckon it's not. No, it's, yeah, it's definitely not. Um, it's definitely not. And actually, without all the gimmicky stuff, um, it's obviously taken from the, the battle armour Thor from the comics. It pops, it looks great. My biggest issue with this figure is the cape. So the Age of Ultron cape that flows nice like how a Thor should. That's like some of the Superman capes that are a nightmare to work with, in my opinion. Do you reckon they're um, the John Cena arms, the pacemaker arms? I don't know. It's it's the same as Age of Ultron. I'm looking at it just now, so it's definitely the arms. This yeah, it's definitely looks. I think I think a lot of people in the once well yeah. someone in the chats mentioned of, of, as well. It was, it was 350 bucks, which is mm -hmm. mad. That is a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and still no Andor figures. I've, right, I've got so, this one here. So, I don't know if you can... One second, I'll full screen you. See. So that's the Age of Ultron version. Oh. That's but, still a great figure, Ian. The, I, I think this is one of the best Thors. The cape's really done really well. Um feels feels good much better than what that looks like but I, I, I like this figure um i really do i think the movie sucks but this um, without all the all the bling it, it this here okay, but the sculpts this is a good off. point by mark attack um so does yeah. anyone uh, i have nothing to add on this uh, movie or figure I, i'm not getting does anyone else have something they would like to say about it before we move on Humbleweed. Okay. Ian, you're up. What do you want to pick? What's left? Um, Armoured Batman top left. Movie recommendation middle. Uh, we spoke about the NRPC. So the Batmobile, the clone movie recommendation or <coughs> the Armour 2.0? Uh, we'll go for Jose top right and I'm asking the questions. You can't do that. It's only once a time. Once you you can set the questions next week, <laughs> right? Come on, go on. It's I'll, only I'll, 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 I'll Listen, allow it. Only, only we go are going to win. <laughs> go on. Are you you're gonna ask? You're gonna ask him questions that you're gonna I'll, ask I'll, questions to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go for the Batmobile. Okay, Grant. So, uh, seven hundred twenty-five dollars and where is it uh, okay share this tab instead and get rid of Thor Grant okay uh, I think this I really 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 like this 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 image and the car and everything that sounds with it but I particularly liked this image so uh, yeah look who wants to who's on the panel oh I love that image who on the panel is getting this Anybody? Jose, do you want to go first or? Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I can recognize the Jazz Inc. one is probably going to be way better just by the little things that I've seen and what Yos has been talking about, you know, the interview you did with him. Uh, but I think that as an alternative in terms of financially, uh, you know, something that you can get a little bit more affordable, I think that this is good enough for me personally. Um, I, you know, I'm not, I, I love all the extra gadgets, all the little noises, the smoke effect that it's going to have with the Jazz Inc. item. But but with this one, I think I'm, I'll be satisfied to have them right there. I don't think, you know, at the end of the day, it's still going to look great right next to your Batman in your collection. So I, I think that's why I went for that. I, you know, I, I, I was able to secure one. I put it on a payment plan and it, it's a little easier for me to, you know, to go ahead and deal with. Uh, versus the Jazz Inc. one, which again, uh, you know, price-wise is different for everybody. But we're looking at a, a, an investment of about two thousand dollars. So, yep, uh, you know, so no doubt. Yeah. Um, 
so obviously and you you have this on pre-order you're excited you're getting it. Yeah. and I, I'll, I'll be brutally honest like if uh if jazz inc wasn't a thing i'd just be coming home as well like i had this on pre-order uh eventually then i did the prototype image of jazz inc did win me over and i i did cancel and transfer so i like 100 percent uh this is not too dissimilar to the in art batman versus hot Tower batman talk i think this one's probably a bit more civil though but the um yeah i think this just looks beautiful and if jazz inc wasn't out there this would one be coming home um uh, what about uh yourself uh phil absolutely stunning piece isn't it really really good luckily i've got no interest in vehicles at this stage i'm sort of afraid if i purchase one then i'm gonna want to purchase more and then if you go for the 89 Batman, uh, the Batmobile, sorry, then that means getting the 89 Batman and accessories and customising and I, I can't afford to go down that route. But stunning car all the same. Although, yeah, if I was given the option, I would definitely go for Eusts, Jazz Inks. But okay. this, n- neither's coming home for me. Yeah. Um, Dan? Uh... I've I recently picked up my first vehicle with the DeLorean uh, and I loved it, absolutely love it. Um, I probably wouldn't have the cash to drop on the Jazz Inc, but if I had the room, I would have put, I would buy this because I think it looks great. Um, but it's just the room. I've only got I've got three um, 165 module cases and I've got another one coming, but it would just take up too much real estate unless I do something similar to what you're going to do, Shane, and have the risers as the uh, 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 you know, at the bottom, because I've got a uh, IKEA risers at the moment, um, besters they're sitting mm-hmm. on. Um, but then you could, what you're doing, which you've been talking mm-hmm. to Brian about, would could yeah. work. But but then you're to get that, you're obviously spending a lot of money for the cases and the and the vehicle. So you're looking at yeah. a couple of G's for that. So true. Uh, at the moment, I, the thing is, it'd be interesting to see how this sells and how long this will be hanging around for yeah because i think the delorean's done now and it's quite hard to get a delorean mark um back to future 2 um their, their vehicles do sell out i mean the tumbler stayed around for a bit but it'd be interesting to see how long it's still this... there inside you yeah but how, how did they do two tumblers though they did a 2.0 yeah they did a today. 2.0 they did the camo and the black one and That's then they it. did 2.0s of the regular black one but not the camo one i picked one up like in hk maybe about like two months ago or something like that yeah because that's what i did i had this on order with line rock and when i cancelled i I reached out to them goes here look i'm after i've decided i'm going to go for the jazz ink one um i paid a 20 percent deposit i appreciate you know you know and i don't want you to lose out but i want a tumbler as well there's a possibility that i could cancel it and transfer my deposit onto the tumbler so that you still get your money and i get a vehicle i want then a win-win because I didn't want to be messing them around because they've been good to me. So uh, they were like, "Yeah, no problem." So uh, yeah, but the, the tumblers are still out there. Um, do you think this will stay around, or do you think this will be like a, a grail in a few years? Because obviously the, the, the jazz ink no, is so expensive. I don't, I, I don't think it'll be a grail because I, I think a lot of people don't have the space for for something mm. like this. And like, like in, even even if they have the space, it's like, okay, I could put it there on this table, but would it look the way you want it to look? So it's like you said, um, Dan, there's a bit of forward planning involved on wh- how you're going to display. Are you going to make something? Are you going to put on a muscle rack? Are you going to get a module kit? There is. It's not just a car. It's like, how are you going to display it? It's important. So you're, you're absolutely right. So I think... Um, I, I, I think you'll be able to get them. I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to be a grail, put it that way. What about yourself, Ian? Um, right, so what's the question? I've got quite a lot to say about this. but All right, So um, just before you go on there, Mark Attack now, come on now. He's one of us. If I can go on, LWO as white as a sheet, and they welcome me with open arms, Jose can come on here. He's one of us. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think Mark Attack's based in Spain. Sorry, uh, yeah, Mad- Ian. Madrid. Yeah, yeah. So, so sorry. What, what's the specific question? Apologies. Uh, your thoughts on this? 
Yeah, like you, Shane, if Jazz Inc. didn't release this, I would be getting this. I think it looks good enough, it looks great. Price point overall, when you think about I'll be over 2k by the time I get the Jazz Inc. in. Yeah. Um, I just, and again, it's, it's, it's like the converse to the Patterson Batman. Um, I appreciate the Hot Toys I've got it and I think the in art looks better but conversely with this 89 means that bit more to me so I'm all in on the 89 line licensed yeah. and unlicensed so yeah. I, I want a full shelf well, well two shelves for this so yeah. I think Hot Toys look it, it does it looks, looks great and it's good that we've got options for collectors I think give us more of that because we're very pr privileged to get either one of them so i'm loving the choices these days i mean you know i didn't think i'd ever have piggy blinders figures behind me and now i have two of them and and killian murphy's autograph i didn't think that was going to be a thing you can go on to like uh you know yixi there selling an, an oppenheimer uh figure i never thought that was going to be a, a thing you have two different companies doing the exact same Batman from a movie that just came out two years ago at a very high level. There's two different Batmobiles, uh, well, there's multiple different Batmobiles. Let's be honest, like there's there's the Tumblr, there's the 89, and uh, you know, for the 89, there's two different versions. Then there's you got your 66, there's a Bat Pod out there. I think Inart have said they're going to do a Bat Pod. I mean, it's a great time, it's, it's not great for your wallet. You do have to, that comes back to, I suppose, uh, the point I was saying to Jose there, like. I didn't have an interest in the the patents and Bruce Wayne. Like you know, anyway, how I feel about civilians. But now, the more I see with it, it's like, yeah, the thought of having the complete set does appeal to me. But this is where you have to go. Okay, it's great that we have these options, but don't take your eye off the ball. Those kind of tough decisions, passing, and a lot of things. I like to get the things I love. So, you know, I could kind of have to sit myself down and go, okay, just stick with the rooted single. You don't need the rest of it. Um, but yeah, it's a what time to be alive. Anyone else have anything to add on the 89 before we move on? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, folks. We've come to that time in the show where we need to discuss... Oh, no, actually. No, sorry. There's, there's still a Batman. We'll get the clone out of the way first, will we? Get the clone out of the way. So, uh... I don't think anyone on the panel is getting this either. No. Nope. Just a bunch of good old fake collectors. You heard us here, folks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyone want to? Ian, you're going to say something there? No, just awesome. I love. I love being a fake collector. Yeah, the green screen's long, looking good long though. Time. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's 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 all fake. Yeah. So this is the from the Kenobi show. The first ever time the clones were actually live action on like a, a movie or TV show and were guys in suits. As opposed to being CGI, I still think this looks cool. Yeah, it does. It's actually quite a cool representation, isn't it? I mm. like it. Just not for me, but it's. Mm -hmm. I can see why a lot of people are going to collect, do like a little army build for this because they do look good. And a lot of people have said the proportions are really good on these. Mhm. Mm look more like because it's a person in a suit as opposed to CGI. And this would not look out of place in my troopers display, but again, slippery slope, and that'd be what. 200, 250, maybe 300 with everything that I could put towards an inner bat signal and Patterson that I don't need. But uh, anyone have anything they drastically want to get out of their system on this one? I don't have anything to say about it. It looks good. I'm not getting it. Anyone else? See, see for me, Shane, it's technically, technically repaint. I think the, these figures should be a little bit cheaper. So I've maintained that for a little, little bit. Yeah, I, um, think, I think it was... I remember listening to Anthony Six Gun Mafia about, I say it was about two years ago. I'm pretty sure he said it multiple times that like some figures should be always on tap for the army builders, like an original trilogy mm -hmm. regular stormtrooper, just on tap. You don't need to limit them. Just leave them there, and you should be able to go onto Sideshow or whatever yeah. uh, reputable yeah. reseller or distributor or whatever, and just go, yeah, I'm going to buy another four of them. I want to see them displays, and for like a, a decent price. You know, as in, like, not like two hundred and fifty dollars. Do them for one fifty, or do a two pack for whatever. Yeah. Um, 
It's the same with the, your, your standard straight up and down shiny clones. Yeah, then the kind of more niche ones, grand, you can put them up as 250 or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I always thought that was a good suggestion. So shout out to uh, Anthony Six Gun Mafia. I thought that was just made logical and, sense. And they're but... hard to get hold of, aren't they? The actual yeah. shiny, the uh, normal The original clones. trilogy ones. Yeah, or even the no, shiny, shiny the, clones from... Um... That's what I mean. They're, they're, they're one mm. of the rarest ones. They should be, like you said, on tap. Mm -hmm. Mad. Yeah. And uh, they'd, they'd make money. Mm. Um, anyone else have anything to add on this before we move on to the Armoured Batman? Interesting fact on uh, Lael's show yesterday, wasn't it Ian, about the, the colour of it? Or the reason for the colour of it? Go on. Yeah, I, I didn't know about that. No, what no. What was the fact? Apparently Lucasfilm, or Disney wouldn't pay Lucasfilm for the colour. That's why they're going for that. So they avoid copyright or something? Hmm. Supposedly, kind of yeah. like... Is that kind of like, in the sequels, the Millennium Falcon had like a, a radar on it or something, and I don't think, do they not refer to it as the Millennium Falcon, they get away with it or something like that? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I think there's there's something like that as well. Um, and I think that's the reason c 3 had a red arm or something like that. I remember reading something like that. Okay, this one, quick, um, I think there's an echo there. I'm not sure if it's maybe someone's uh, muted or unmuted or something. Uh, folks, just a quick, uh, just a quick yes or no. Are you getting this? And then we can delve further into it. So this is the Hot Toys, obviously one six scale Armor Batman two point They're calling it the Armor Batman because they're giving you the battle damage parts and the regular parts. There's some die cast in this. You've got a USB powered light up Kryptonite spear, which I love. Not sure if the eyes are light up or uh, I know they light up. I think think one of them lights up. I'm not sure if it's just batteries or or LED. I think it's just batteries. Um, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. And um, Anyone on the panel getting this? Anyone's like, I was waiting for this, pulling the trigger. Yes. No, getting that. No. Me, I, I, I never had the uh, 1.0 or the battle damage uh, toy exclusive version. So uh, when I saw this, uh, it was one of those figures that I, I don't even remember why I passed on it. I, I just never picked up any of the figures. Uh, I think back then I, I didn't collect as much. I just grab one or two maybe a year i don't i don't remember specifically why i passed on it but having this opportunity to get one that actually includes basically both versions of that 1.0 yes uh, is yeah it's uh it's great it's great for me i benefit from it i, I understand those who have the 1.0 might be disappointed but i've seen the 1.0 in person i just saw it at philly's philly has it and it looks great so i don't think if you have the 1.0 you need to improve uh because i don't think it's 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 a huge difference. I mean, it's nice to have those diecast pieces, right? But I, I, I saw it and he had it lit and he, it looked good. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't... He had the kryptonite spear lit up, yeah? I, I'm, I'm, I don't remember how he had it, but I, I, I know he had it and it looked good. I, so, you know, I, I think that you have that. If you have it and you don't, there's no much, much need to upgrade. But if you don't have it, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, I think this goes, touches back to what Ian was talking about as well. Like this here, like I've got the, so they did three versions. This They did the armored Batman, then they did the battle damage armored Batman, which, which I have, and then they've got the chrome version. Now they're doing this one, which, uh, like you said, incorporates the two of them. And I was looking at this going, why are they doing this? Like, I mean, it hasn't come out that long ago. And kind of like, it's kind of what Ian was saying at the start of the show. If there was a bit more balance, like go back and do those older figures that you know not your iron man or your batman but i suppose that they sell um but when i looked at it they're doing a lot here you've got the separate rolling eyeballs uh feature which the the one that i have definitely doesn't have you have battle damaged armor you have the diorama base which okay it's a small little footprint to be awkward to pose it's kind of like the iron monger base for the mark 3 2.0 but you have the led kryptonite spear You've got both versions of the the, the the metal, the armored cowl. You have the, the you know the regular version, and you have the the battle damage version. I think they've given us a lot to kind of almost justify the price and the 2.0. One thing I maybe I'm completely losing my mind here, but I was always impressed by the likeness of Ben Affleck in the armored version. This, even though there was only a small bit of his eye and his mouth showing, I thought they did a great job. I f I'm struggling to see Ben Affleck here. Maybe it's the expression 
or maybe I need to get my eyes tested. Anyone else? Do, do you, what do you think of the lightness, Jose? Uh, from my understanding, the, the expression is different on this battle damage, right? Because it, it has a mouth open versus the, mm. the initial one had the mouth mm. closed, more of a serious look. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I saw the collector, uh, what is it, the uh, secret base uh, videos of it. I thought it looked pretty good. And uh, You could see the mole, right? The key mm -hmm. Ben Affleck mole. So it's definitely Ben Affleck. I don't know. I, I, I didn't dissect it as much as probably you did. So I, I would have to take a look to see uh, more clearly. I thought it looked pretty good. I, I, I probably, it's nice to have the battle damage, but I, I want the, the clean look. That's for me. Yeah. But yeah. So I think that's what I, how I would have them displayed. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll take a deeper dive into it to see. Uh, maybe I can yeah. see what you're seeing. Ian, we've kind of come full circle now from the start of the show. You were talking about 2.0s and the dopamine hit and just 2.0s for the sake of it as opposed to like uh, people upgrading because they have the connection and because the uh, not 2.0 is better or like what, what, what's your thoughts on this one? This is do you have any of the versions of the armor Batman? Do you have any interest in this or? No, I, I don't have this and I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to rule it out in the future, but I don't think so. I don't think I'll, I'll pick this up. I think it looks great. Diecast, yeah, it feel, you know, for me it's like the Iron Man, um, feels more premium. Um, the issue I've got with this figure, um, in isolation the base looks good, but the figure on the base does not look good for me at all. It takes me out of the figure. It's too big, too bulky a figure. It's out of scale. So I would never ever pose it on that base. So um, it's kind of like, um, isn't it? You have the Mark III 2.0, and there's only a small little yeah. bit of space, so you can stand it straight up and down, or maybe with the legs slightly open or something like that, like a power stance, or with one foot. But yeah, I get what you're saying. It's like, um, but the, th the 3.0 is in scale. That's that's a building behind him. Mm. It doesn't work. If it, it was rubble, part of a if it was just yeah, I thought it was like a if, wall. <laughs> but look, yeah, but look at the separation from it. What that looks like it's represented. It'd be much better if it was just a base with rubble. In my in my opinion, the mm -hmm. the Mark Three is in scale. The diorama, it's big. The diorama and the Mark Three is bigger than this. Mm -hmm. So, but it's great if anybody wants this. They've not got the first one and they, they want this then I'm happy for the community um, mm -hmm. I really am but I mean it looks great I thought I saw a video from Secret Base and it looked way <laughs> better than the photos mm -hmm. in my opinion I thought it looked the, really good The when it comes to this figure the, I, I, I'm, I'm not a DCEU guy really I bought the battle damaged armoured version of this because I love the Dark Knight Returns, the graphic novel, the animated, the, the, I suppose the animated uh, movie that, that kind of its its counterpart, and there was parts of BVS I liked, but when the boys eventually fought, I I liked the design of this. I really liked the design of this, and you know I like Cavill as Superman, so I wanted a Cavill Superman to pose it next to this. Um, I do have the in our BVS Superman on order. And I am going to pose it next to my battle damage version of this. But I'm wondering then, like, is that going to look like one that's vastly superior from a different country, from a different uh, company? Or, or, or I think they'll be okay, to be honest. But then part of me is kind of going, I could upgrade to this, but I think the likeness of Ben Affleck is actually better on the 1.0. And... I will have the battle damage faceplate on, so you will see him the most amount of time. But I like I like everything about this, apart from I think they could have done better with the, the likeness. And then another part of the equation is that Inart have said they're going to do a BVS Batman. What's to stop doing, doing their version of this? Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I think me upgrading to this 
considering when I'm not 100% sold on the likeness of Ben Affleck and it's wide open where Inner could do it in about 10 years time. Um, all roads lead me back on, no, keep keep what you have. But that that's where I'm at with that. But I might up, get a fusion to power up the Kryptonite Spear. Dan, what do you think? Uh, I'm just having a look because I, this is the first time I've seen these. I didn't see it the other day. Um, and I'm just looking on my other screen here at the the older version because there was two, wasn't there? There was a normal non-battle damaged and then yep. three. Yeah, so normal battle damage and then the black chrome. Yeah, that's it. Um, I think this is overall a, a, a great package, you know, because you're getting everything together. I know what you mean about the um, likeness. However, I actually like the the sculpt of it because it shows a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I, I remember that scene. He had his mouth open a lot, and it was a bit more angry. It's a bit more of that sort. Of, so it's got a lot. I quite like that. I'm just looking at them now. It's it's really nice actually. Um, I don't. I, you know, I, I'm. You know, my rule of one figure per character. Um, but Batman's obviously different because I'm just getting different Batmans. If I was going to get one Batman from BVS, it would be the, the you know the original suit. Um, but this yeah. looks really really nice. Um, just to answer this question from Mark Attack, no, maybe I wasn't uh, clear about that. No, I 100% don't. I like the armored Batman because I, I I'm a fan of the Dark Knight Returns. So my question would be: keep what I have, upgrade to this, or the cliche wait for in art. And I think or Rhodes would you not like, get the Batman, the new no, Batfleck 2.0? No, I, I'm not. I'm not a big Batfleck fan. This is having this in my collection is a stretch. Oh, um, right. But that is based on the actual armor and you know how how the end of the Dark yeah. Knight uh, I, returns. Me, I just love that. I, and I think I'm, they did a great. They ran it through their, the reality filter or whatever, and it, I think they did a great job with the design personally. But sorry, I, I, think, Dan, go on. I think no, that's fine. No, that's fine. I think this will do well. To be honest, I think for me, I'm going to get that 2.0 Batfleck. You know, the one that they showed with the awesome um, uh, Ben Affleck head sculpt and all that. And then you know we can see in art coming out with something i think they'll do more the the original suit to be honest than this um, i think so too which i can imagine will be amazing in any way but um yeah um yeah for, not for me but it is it really really good and the base i agree with ian is what are they doing it's just it, it it's it's just so hard to pose you've got one pose on it, I just don't understand hot toys sometimes with these sort of diorama, diorama bases, and there's not a lot of room on there. Yep, that's fair. Uh, anyone have you, anything else to add on this? Yeah, Shane. Here, here's the thing on this: this is a 2.0, and they've released three skews. Say it again. It's, it, it's a 2.0, and they've released three skews of a 2.0. Mm. This shit will sit, as they say. The um, Batman yeah. Collect was saying Shane and I are on the same page. I obviously love Batman, and I got that from the the name definitely. And I've had Batflex in the past, but as of right now, I have zero Batflex, and could could care less. Uh, sadly, don't judge me. No, no judgment here. Absolutely not. I, I get where you're coming from. Um, so go on, Ian. No, just as I'm saying, three skews history tells you it particularly i mean a 2.0 it's quite a brave move i just think you know i i, I don't get that I, I don't understand hot toys sometimes it's really well bold. you see they're catering for the real Gosh. collectors there's no real collectors here mate <laughs> do you know what i mean none of us live in our mom's basements yeah. like, so you know there's that so right folks i'm gonna end the stream there i haven't um Actually, I didn't get a chance to, but I, I just didn't. We went, kind of went straight into it there today. So um, uh, thank you to the 3,264 subscribers. Greatly appreciated. Uh, shout out to the channel members. We have a brand new channel member today. Austin uh, joined us today. Um, we have uh, Figurecraft. The movie canon was gifted a, um, a membership from uh, it was Mike L. Howard Potts, Kenneth Jacobson, Danny Sposka is in the chat. Silver Silverfox, who is on the panel. Jose G. Hernandez on the panel, Brian Wong, who uh, has taken a lot of our money, and uh, but it's okay, Ian has, has, has um, 
has put all his kids through college. Uh, the Ben Thomas Show, Eddie Money Mendez, Caffeinated Comic Fan, Jim Collector, Lancelot's Nerd Corner, Mug Wump, Mike L, and Ryan Smith. Of course, we have to shout out the Commanders as well. Really quickly going to run through the new videos on the channel. So this is kind of a, a case stutter study in Inart Aftercare. As you know, Inart only, so far they've only had one global license as then you can go onto their site regardless of you know where you're living and order it and then have it delivered to you, hopefully. That's the Paula Trades from Dune. Um, there were some, I think, that were licensed for, say, Australia and New Zealand and Hong Kong. Uh, don't quote me on that, but the majority of us we can't go on Inart's website and order the Inart figures with the exception of Paul Atreides. So you have to go through a reseller, distributor. Always do your own research, folks. Um, I work with Lion Rock Toy, work with them. That's a stretch. Uh, I do reviews for them and in exchange, they give me uh, better prices. They've uh, been very, very good to me. So full transparency disclaimer there. Um, I did have an issue with the in art uh, joker head i arrived to had two copies of the same sculpt and this outlines that and uh it outlines kind of like getting the process sorted so the uh the head has left the building and uh it's on its way to hong kong and, and line rock are going to sort it so that's look there's a case study anyway i outline it in more detail my thoughts on 89 hot toys batmobile 2.0 uh an interview with Joost, uh, Joost, should i say uh last thursday which was a lot of fun he's an absolute gentleman and got a lot of insight into ending from how the molds are made to uh how the company started to um the business side of things and to new figures and lines he's thinking new vehicles think about doing my thoughts on what we spoke about today and uh yeah kind of more what we spoke about today so gentlemen Anyone want to plug anyone, anything? Plug anyone, Jesus Christ, the family show. Uh, anyone want to plug anything? Ian's having the time of his life there. <laughs> no, I'm trying to Would you like to promote up. anything? No, I don't. I, I, I certainly plug Stop something. Stop it. But, dip, you know. dip, dip, dip. <laughs> Didn't even hear the echo there. Dip, dip. No, it's gone. Sorry, Ian. Sorry. No. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Yeah, text me later. I want to know what the joke was. Um, so, anyone else have something to promote or what's coming up in your channel? Or no, you good to go? All right, folks. Uh, thanks to the panel good. for giving up their time. Thanks to anyone watching. If you uh, enjoyed the stream, hit the like button. If you're not a <clears throat> if you're not a channel member, uh, consider it or consider subscribing. And apart from that. Yeah, we're out of here and we will see you next week.